In this video I want to show you how to ingest the data that you have just uploaded. So the first step is to log in. Put in the password and there we go. On the Wombat Legal Pico systems you only get one case. So we will go to it and then to do the ingestion we need to head to the system administration up here on the left menu uh, and we want the ingestion administration uh, and uh, what I can show you here is the extraction configuration so these are all the different uh, document types uh, and the plugin in the right hand column that is assigned to handle it. You can change those assignments over here so I've got quite a range of plugins and uh, more can be added. Right, um, ingestion execution. So the first step is to unzip and extract all the PSTs that have been uploaded so we can have a look at that. This is the web dev view of the system and here are the files that I've uploaded. Um, so that could have been done from your Android pad, uh, Windows, um, lots and lots of different platforms. Right, so we will unzip all those guys. So the system is now unzipping it on the server. So now that's complete. And we can go and have a look at that to verify that the directory structure is as we want it. So we have a look at the folders which have resulted from the unzip. And here they are. Uh, so we have uh, the PDF folders. Um, we've got a bit of email in here. Uh, all sorts of stuff there. Um, and another PST with lots and lots of contents. Um, so that's that one. Uh, right. The next step is to ingest the data. So we hit the ingest button and now the system is going through all of those documents that have been extracted um, it's creating a directory structure um, and it's buzzing through them um, I think there's only about 300 in the test data set so it's chugging through them at a reasonable old rate uh, lots and lots of PDFs in the test set I think um, so it's a, a multi-threaded architecture uh, and can churn through uh, data um, at a rate which depends on how much hardware we've thrown at it basically. Uh, oh goodness, looks like we have quite a bit of PST data. I didn't expect it to be that much. Um, I don't know that I can pause the recording either. Oh, there it goes. Uh, right, so now we can have a look at our exception list to see the ones that we need to handle by hand. Uh, and we've got eight. Um, and that particular extractor doesn't like documents that have that are less than a certain size. Uh, so we can download that list um, and that'll give you a, a CSV with the a uh, full path of the documents that have given trouble and they can be handled in some other way. Okay, uh, the next step is to create all the indexes. So you hit the index button and now all of the extracted data is um, going through the various steps of indexing which consists of um, creating indexes for the text search engine uh, near duplicates, um, directory trees, Bates labeling, um, all that sort of stuff. Uh, and then when that's complete, which shouldn't take too long, it's only a few seconds to get that done, um, the whole system is available for use. Uh, so it's pretty much as simple as that. Uh, we'll just wait here for this data to go through shouldn't take us too long. Um, I'm not sure what the systems are doing at the moment. I don't know if this is busy or not. Uh, so it's uh, 
busy going through now doing near duplicate uh, processing um, and that gives us our uh, variable threshold near duplicates um, which which you can use um, on the fly you can adjust the near duplicate threshold on the fly um, and that enables you to build um, some quite good bundles which can then be used in the predictive coding um, okay it looks like all of our email threading is completed the duplicates are done so we're pretty much we must be pretty close to the end of processing I think uh, obviously when you put um, a couple of gigs of data in it uh, in the system uh, this process can take uh, quite a while okay uh, all of that is now complete and we're ready to use the system uh, so here you see we have our folder structures and we can buzz through the, the various folders we have uh, documents grouped into um, various uh, system default bundles uh, so we can have a look at the the breakdown by year of all of the documents for example um, so most of these ones come from 2000 2001 we've got a few at 2010 and a few dated from this year um, and that pretty much concludes the demonstration uh, it's as it's as simple as that to upload all the data um, we can quickly look at all of our documents just to make sure they're all there so here are the here's a bunch of PDFs um, so that's it thanks for watching